announced in my Jules News video, I've put on two stone and now I'm going to make a weight loss vlog series. Before we start, as we've got 90 days of vlogs coming up, I think maybe we should do a little recap. Craig David, can I get a rewind? Okay, so my name is Jules Call. I am 37 years old. You're 37? Yes, I will do a vlog about my daily skincare routine and how I do my makeup and go from this to this. That's all coming up in this vlog series. I have struggled with my weight for years. I've made a TV documentary about it. I've written a book about it. And now I'm making a daily vlog series about it. Quick flashback. I was a slim child, a slim teenager, and I didn't start piling on the pounds until the age of 19, and they slowly crept on until at the age of 35, I was morbidly obese, weighing 19 stone and wearing size 22 clothes. I tried every diet going, but nothing worked for me. So I made the huge decision to undergo gastric bypass surgery, and this medical intervention turned everything around for me in the name of size 10 Victoria's Secret knickers is a gastric bypass. Here comes the science bit. Essentially, it's an operation to reduce the capacity of the stomach and attach this new smaller stomach directly to the intestine. It's irreversible surgery and what it did for me was give me the ability to control the amount I was eating. So is it an easy fix? Hail to the no. It's a helpful tool to overcome overeating. But in addition to my gastric bypass, I also had to radically overhaul my diet and exercise. And through a huge amount of hard work, effort and gallons of sweat, I lost nine stone in 10 months and I maintained this for a year and a half. Again, through just as much consistent hard work and dedication to what I was eating and how much I worked out. So that's the medical side of things. Then there's the emotional side. For this, it took an entire book to explain it, so that's why I wrote Flabyrinth. Flabyrinth, My Escape from Maximum Insecurity Prison is available in all major bookstores and also as an ebook. Order it now on eSins.com. So my emotional reason behind my nine stone of extra weight was that I was eating for positive emotions. I was rewarding myself with food. Now, once I became aware of this, it changed everything. And then I was able to set about healing those issues within myself. And that is all covered in my book, Flabyrinth. Healing the emotional reason behind the extra pounds, in my experience, is the absolute key for losing the weight and keeping it off. Now, I thought I had it sorted for life, but obviously not, as I've put on two stone which clearly means that another emotional issue has come up in my life for healing. This time, it turned out to be a lot more serious. Depression. Now, I'm going to make an entirely separate video all about depression, anxiety, stress, and mental health, and how I dealt with it and got myself back to a happy place. But for now, in a nutshell. Last year, I was under a huge amount of stress and I completely burnt myself out. I had no idea what was wrong with me. It affects one in four of us, and I've always considered myself to be a really strong person in every sense, so I didn't think I'd ever be affected by it, but I have been. And I'm talking openly about it because it's okay not to feel okay. It's not a sign of weakness. I'm only human. We are all mere mortals. We are all vulnerable. We are all insecure. We are all full of self-doubt and we all spend way too much time wondering and worrying about what other people think of us. But the older I get, the more I realise in life, nobody has a feckin' clue what they're doing. Everyone's just winging it. Wouldn't it be lovely if we could all just let out a sigh of relief and say, Ugh! I am exhausted trying to keep up with society and standards and ideals. I am knackered. Can we not all just actually truly be ourselves and just be normal? Can we all start doing that, please? By the power of Grayskull, I am Grayskull.
grace the glorious mess that I am. So anyway, my head is in great shape now because I got the help and the support that I needed. I feel back to myself again and I'm ready now to lose this extra two stone. So what happened with the weight gain, Jules? With all the stress I was under last year, everything just peaked around December. And my brain chemicals were so imbalanced that I just completely lost my mojo. I stopped working out. I stopped meal prepping. I started eating bread again. Toast and tea became my comfort. And of course, if you're going to sit around on your ass, snogging a slice pan, you're going to pile on the pounds. And that is why my size 10 jeans now only go up to my knees. <sighs> this is the scary bit. This is the brand knickers shot. It's terrifying doing this. And all that's going through my head is that I'm thinking that the guy that I fancy at the moment is going to be seeing this and I'm just like, Okay, come on, get it together, Jules. I am flossom. I embrace the glorious mess that I am. And yes, I am wearing a ton of fake tan because the first time we went to shoot this, you couldn't tell the difference between me and the door. So I'm gonna weigh myself once now and then I am putting the scales away and I'm only gonna take it out maybe in about three or four weeks time to kind of measure my progress. So I'm not getting caught up in the numbers on the dial because they fluctuate way too much and I can lose a few pounds and be like, woohoo! And then I could be premenstrual and I could put on five pounds just with water retention even though I've been eating really clean and exercising and then I see that on the scales and I'm like, oh. Right, so now I'm gonna step on the scales and see what I weigh. At my heaviest, I was 19 stone and at my lightest, I was 10 stone. But where my body weight evened out and where I felt and looked my best was around 10 and a half to 11 stone. So that's my aim of where I wanna go back to. This is my body, I'm five foot seven, age 37, weighing exactly 13 stone now. Now, I'm not complaining, I'm a healthy size 14, but I know what it feels like to be a healthy size 10, weighing 10 and a half to 11 stone, and that is when I felt and looked my best, and I could wear anything I wanted. So one thing that people ask me about a lot is excess skin. Now, the way that I carried my weight before, when I was 19 stone, I carried it everywhere. And because I worked out so much as I was losing the weight, I was really lucky, I think some of it is down to genetics as well, is that I didn't get loads of saggy skin. I got a little bit kind of on the inside of my thighs that, you know, whatever, I just have to live with. So I'm not moaning about this. I know I'm lucky to have arms and legs, but for me, I just feel happier and healthier and fitter when my body is 30 pounds lighter than it currently is. So as you can see how my body has changed, a lot of the weight is gone are all on my thighs. I can't believe how much they've ballooned. All around here in these womanly parts, here, uh, all across my tummy's gone all jiggly, and all that definition that I had in my arms is now covered in a layer of fat. My boobs have got bigger, um, and yeah, it's just kind of gone on everywhere. And the jiggles are there, and I don't like the jiggles. I wanna go back to that lovely lean feeling that I had. So the weighing scales just messes with my head way too much and that is why I am putting it away. So this is why I'm not going by the scales because your weight can fluctuate so much. This is going to be my measure. Every week I'm gonna see how much further I can pull these jeans up until they come up to here and they close with ease and I feel great again. Oh, this, this is heartbreaking. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. <laughs> so, smell you later weighing scales. The main method that I will be using to monitor my progress is how I feel in my clothes and with the aim of getting back into those size 10 jeans and feeling fantastic again. So starting on Sunday at 9 a.m. my first vlog goes live and I'll be posting a video here every single day at 6 p.m. for the next 90 days. And you can join me on the journey because I'm going to be sharing all my weight loss tips, tricks and secrets. It will be doable, but it will not be easy because sadly, no easy peasy way exists to lose weight and keep it off. But if you're prepared to put in the effort like I am, then you can do it too. I'll be showing you every single thing that I am eating and doing in detail.
and most importantly I will go through the whole thought process when it comes to losing weight because you can get the food and the fitness right but if you don't have things sorted in your head well it's kind of like driving a car but with the handbrake on it's my 38th birthday on the 9th of August and I am determined to be back in all my bed on sexy dresses feeling fit and healthy again Bring it on baby, roll on Sunday morning at 9am when the vlog series kicks off. I'll introduce you to BB, that stands for bad bitch. Jules, what's the story with like cheat meals and everything? Like how many a week are we allowed? Teacher, is it possible to do this whole thing if I can like be good Monday to Friday but then the weekend like, you know? Hmm? Uh, teacher, I have a question. Uh, what's the story with chocolate? Like how much are we allowed a day? Ah, oh, come on. What about like everything in moderation? I just love all of this. Can I not have all of this and just lose the weight? No? What can I drink instead of water? It's just water tastes like nothing and I just I can't drink it. Oh. So you'll meet her on Sunday and learn how to conquer her when Loser With Jules begins. If you have been looking for an opportunity to get yourself sorted and get to your goal, then this is it. This vlog series is brought to you with thanks to my sponsor, Havana Therapy. Visit them at havanatherapy.ie. See you back here on Sunday morning.